Success is a marathon and not a sprint. If you're thinking overnight success, man for think again, because it ain't gonna happen. So they shut down a lot of tinsel towns. Wood greens disappeared, gants hills disappeared. So I'm like, shit. All right, the nearest tinsel town is Farringdon, central London. But the only problem is, even on my motorbike, if I go into central London, Farringdon, I have to pay the ultra low emissions on charge. That's like 12 or 14 pounds. Hold on a minute. The milkshake costs five. That's not even worth me going down there to get a milkshake. So I was like, right, boom. Let me type in Tinsel Town on the internet and Google will find the nearest one to me. So now they've opened up a new one in Upper Holloway, North London. It's kind of like near Finsley Park, if you know what that is. So boom, man's taken the bike out, gone on the M25. Beat up the M25, broke the sound barrier a couple of times. I was like, right, fuck it. And go down to Upper Holloway, get my milkshake and that. Cause it's long overdue. I ain't had a milkshake from Tinsel Town in time. So boom, standing outside, drinking my milkshake. I see in the distance, one young girl is approaching me. She's got a push chair, she's rolling with like four or five youths. Full squatty, you know. And she stops me and she's like, hello. Then she gives me some long winded kind of like scripted speech. Oh, hello, I'm such and such. And these are my kids. And we started a YouTube channel where my kids are doing backflips and that. Please like, share, subscribe and that. Please can you sub subscribe to my channel uh, and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, all right, I'll subscribe to your channel if you subscribe to mine. She's like, yeah, 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 put your channel in or whatever. You're going to get two subscribers because I've got two different accounts and that. So I'm like, all right, then cool. So she subscribed to my channel all twice. And then I said to her, listen, like, you need to be careful, you know. Like, I know you're trying to promote your YouTube channel and that, but you can't be thinking like overnight success because this is what's going to happen. And anyone thinking of starting a YouTube channel, yeah, take heed. If you make a YouTube channel, obviously you ain't going to have no subscribers. You ain't going to get no views. The worst thing you can do is start spamming people let alone approaching random people on the street. The worst thing you can do is start sending your video to people on WhatsApp and really pushing it in people's face. Don't get it twisted. Your first or second video, if you send it to a few people on, on, your, on your WhatsApp or whatever, you text your friends and say, yeah, this is my new video or whatever, that's cool. But you cannot be making videos after videos after videos and sending them to people and spamming people. When you do that, people ain't even gonna watch your thing. I know people that have got YouTube channels that spam me or have spammed me in the past. Oh, I've got this new video. Watch it, watch it, watch it. When someone tries to push something in your face, you're not even gonna watch the thing. And then you're gonna end up killing them the kind of views that you could get. You're gonna end up losing the subscribers that you could potentially get in the future. Like me, I only I only kind of post on like Facebook, but I post on Facebook to my page, so you know, if someone wants to be nosy or whatever and they want to click on my video link, that's cool. But I ain't sending my videos to no one on WhatsApp unless it's an important video and I believe that it relates to this person or something like that. There's no way I'm going to be sending my video out to people because people ain't going to watch your thing because they're going to feel pressured. Imagine me sending someone one of my videos, like a 20 minute vlog. They're going to feel compelled, they're going to feel pressured to watch the video and they ain't even going to enjoy it. You have to let things grow organically. You have to let people come to your thing organically. I know, man, making all these videos about these reviews and that. Yeah, man, get better subscribers, quick. Like, I see a man get two, three hundred subscribers in less than a month. I was like, fuck, my man's lapsed me, what I've been doing in a year and a half, in a month. But what happened? A man lost traction. A man ain't getting the views. A man ain't getting the subscribers that he wants. Man, give up. Because man are thinking overnight success. There's no shortcuts to success. You have to let this thing grow organically. Now, what I'm saying relates to YouTube, but it relates to the real world as well. You can't be thinking overnight success. You know how many men I know? They start something, a couple months later, give up, quit. Don't get it twisted though. You can start things and fail, but... Certain people, it's not even that. Certain people, it's just they want overnight success. Not everyone can be Bobby Schmurder, you know, where a man makes one tune, it's a one-hit wonder. Yeah, not everyone can get that lucky. I know, man, from my ends. Used to make little rap videos and that. Yeah? Music was just yeah, whatever, innit? 
But a man stuck at it. Years later, my man's the biggest rapper in North London. Say no names. Man, they know who they are, innit? Like, but you cannot be hoping for overnight success. That's why in areas like Edmonton and Tottenham, I've seen a lot of Caribbean shots pull up. Yeah? Man put sign up and that. Within a couple of months, the business gone bust. There ain't even no dust on the sign. And the business gone bankrupt. Because people then was thinking overnight success. There's no shortcuts to success. That's why, like, you know, like, all this new stuff like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and this is popping and that's popping. But I don't even jump on it. I don't care. I don't care. Do not care. Shit like, man, buying Rolex watches and that. It's because it increases quicker than a property, you know. Man are thinking overnight success. Man are just jumping onto anything that's just popping quickly. That's why man them like to do trading and that. Overnight success. Don't need to put in a lot of work, but you get a decent return. But then when they lose all their money, they're back to square one. Drug dealing. Man them are thinking overnight success. Man are not have no long-term but short-term plans only. And then what happens? After a few years, they're in chill. They go to jail, they come out. Boy, it's either they go back to, you know, looking over their shoulder and that, or they go and get a shit job. And then whilst they're in that shit job, then they're thinking, blood, the money I'm making in a month's time working at this workplace, well, I would have made that in two days on the road. Then they go back to get me looking over their shoulder. No shortcuts to success. So... The thing is as well, like with the YouTube thing, like it's not going to pop for everyone. For me, it ain't pop for me and it might not ever pop for me. But there's certain people out here, like, it might take them a few years to kind of, like, gain traction. And it might take them three, four years, whatever, to get 10,000 subscribers. But then a year later, they could end up with 30,000 subscribers. But I've seen it. I've seen, man, like, they made a video about 10 or 12 months ago. Saying, yeah, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. But that video is 12 months old and the man's got 30,000 subscribers now. It happens. It happens. It's almost like a snowball effect. But man for putting the work. Man for being patient. All this approaching people on the street. And that. and the girl going to see this video as well because she subscribed to my channel. Isn't it? So I hope she takes heed and that. You can't be trying to push your thing out there and trying to ram it down people's throat. Because people are just going to get turned off. Like my mum... She's only just now started to watch one or two videos on my channel. I'm not pushing it in my mum's face. It's something that my mum has to go and watch herself and go and discover herself. Imagine me every month, every ball, you know how I mean, come out of videos every day and that. Well, at least just the snippets. But imagine when I was just starting off the YouTube thing and I had a video coming out every two, three days, whatever, innit? and I'm always sending it to my mum. Mum ain't even gonna watch it. Mum ain't even gonna respond to the text. Because you're trying to push this thing, you're trying to ram this thing down people's throat. People need to find your thing organically. Like me, I will never hit up anybody. Oh, can you get me on your show? And I, but man, watch all these podcasts and I think to myself, like, yeah, I'll be a fucking good guest on that podcast. I'll be a fucking good person for that person to interview. But man, I ain't hitting up nobody. Man, for find me. I watch girls with their podcasts and that. And <laughs> one of the girls that I watch with their thing, I ain't going to say her name. You know her name. Yeah. She lives in man's area. I've seen her on road. You think I'm going to approach her? Oh, yeah, I see your thing and that. Can I come on? No, fam. No, 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 no. All of these men that everyone know do all these podcasts and that. I'm not hitting up no one. It has to come to me. Yeah. I'm not desperate. Don't get it twisted. There's men who are blown by begging and that. But that ain't my style. That ain't my style. I ain't a beggar. Yeah, and if you're going up to people approaching people on the street, that's begging, man. Especially me. The fuck you approaching a grown ass man for him to watch kids doing backflips? Eh? That's kind of weird. Why would me, as a grown ass man, be watching little kids do backflips? Look, all six and seven, eight year olds doing backflips. Like, that's kind of weird. Like, not even like if she said to me, oh, do you know any little kids that might be interested in, you know, subscribing to the channel and that? Because as soon as she was telling me about her little kids doing the backflips and that, I was saying to her, yeah, I've got a little nine-year-old sister that might be interested in that. But why are you approaching a grown-ass man? I ain't got no youths around me or anything like that. You're approaching a grown-ass man to watch little kids do backflips. That's how you know That's how you know people are on autopilot mode. You're not even realising what the fuck you're doing. You're just approaching anything with teeth and, and, and eyes in its head. 
approaching a grown ass man, telling a grown ass man to go and watch videos with little kids doing backflips. Come on. Come on, man. That YouTube channel is destined for failure. Because you're not even approaching the right target order. You're just approaching anything that walks. Silliness, man. But me, I would never be approaching anyone, begging anyone, sending anyone any DMs or anything like that. If man don't discover me, then it's for that reason. Because trust me, like I said, I watch podcasts and that. And there's one guy, I ain't going to say a man's name, but there's one guy, he actually shared my thing on his channel, whatever, on his Instagram page, should I say, innit? And the maddest thing is, like, he's interviewed man that I know. He's interviewed man that I've rubbed shoulders with. Man that I've been in jail with. Man that I know on the road. Man, oh, that's my brethren's older and shit like that. And I'm like, boy, it's only a matter of time. But I ain't even going to hit off a man and say, yeah, get me on. If a man don't discover me, because these people go out and they research and they find people to get on their thing. If a man don't discover me, then it is what it is and it's not meant to be, man. But yeah, there's no shortcuts to success. Stop trying to achieve overnight success. Not everyone going to be like Bobby Schmurder and these people. One hit one, then they pop off and they blow up. Stay wise.